Hi, my name's Michael Watt. Uh, we farm Stirling Plains in the southwest corner of WA, uh, Shire of Tambla, about 10 kilometres north of the Stirling Ranges. So, Stirling Plains is a 2,500 hectare property, uh, which is about 66% arable. Uh, my father started clearing it in 1958, and we grow wheat, canola, barley, uh, oats and lupins in a rotation and we run a merino, pure merino flock uh, of around three and a half thousand uh, grown sheep and up to two thousand, two and a half thousand lambs. Uh, so there is a fair percentage of our country that's uh, not arable, uh, it's uh, either saline or very sandy and over the years we've seen a gradual increase in the salinity for the first probably 30 years we farmed it and if it took 30 years for it to see that salinity uh, get to its worst I think it's going to take another 30 years to see it improve to its best through our different farming techniques the lucerne, the tall wheat grass, the tree plantings, the alley farming and conservation tillage, um, continuous cropping, uh, all those techniques, we've seen that salinity become more controlled. In the last, uh, last 20 years we've started to use most of the rainfall that, that uh, falls on the property uh, through the different farming techniques and of course less rainfall has also affected that but our ability to handle the rainfall that we get at different times of year uh, where we're stopping the recharge of the saline water table and that's where we're seeing the major benefits in reduced salinity. So we do have um, three bores, permanent bores on the farm, GL bores, that uh, give us an indication of, of the groundwater uh, and we can measure them from time to time, uh, keep, a, keep a bit of an idea on, on what's going on. So in around 2000 we were looking at this creek line that was uh, deteriorating quite badly and our choices were either put a deep drain in or re-veg it. Our option was to re-veg because we don't really like deep drains um, and uh, with the help of uh, the local Noongar community and Subiaco Rotary Club we planted over 20,000 trees through 10 hectares that was farming land and another six hectares that was Salt Creek and I think the results have been yeah, outstanding and it's aesthetically pleasing just to drive past and see it looking covered with trees rather than bare open salt. It's uh, certainly, it has a feel good factor, there's no doubt about that. So when we first started with uh, looking at ways of controlling salinity we've, we were using the Y-Salt system a bit and then started looking at deep drainage as a lot of people did but felt that the salt levels in the soil here were so high that we were only going to shift the problem to somewhere else and it can only drain into lakes. So if everybody started draining that salt water into lakes, 
we were probably going to fill the lakes with actual salt when, they, when it evaporated away. But it was also going to ruin, ruin the environment that was there anyway. And the best place, in my opinion, for that hypersaline water is down under the ground, um, rather than shifting it somewhere else. And if we can stop the recharge, then um, it won't be an issue, that salt water. So in the 90s, uh, the Ag Department were doing a number of trials here. Uh, Arjun Ryder was uh, here um, recording groundwater uh, levels and uh, convinced us to have a go with Lucerne on a paddock and, and set up a very uh, in-depth trial in comparing crop versus lucerne and that opened our eyes to what lucerne could do as far as reducing the water table. The water table was definitely lowered dramatically under lucerne versus crop and the amount of stored moisture in the soil was reduced as well. And the big advantage with Lucerne is it responds to summer rain very well. Uh, you can see the sheep when you put them in there in the middle of summer, if you've had a bit of summer rain, the uh, performance level is huge. They really put on weight really fast. Uh, and when we did run crossbred lambs, it was a very good exercise to get them on there and, and round it up. They'll put on condition, score and, and weight rapidly. So I see perennials having a very important role going forward.